Hey guys, what's up? Austin here at the Game Box, and today we're gonna be talking a little bit about uh, Destiny. So now you guys know it's Destiny. It's a game being made by Bungie, and it's a free roam game, which is very awesome. Of adventurous free roam game with many things to do. I am very excited for this game. I cannot wait to play it. But anyway, guys, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the gameplay. But here I'm gonna give you um, a video that. Uh, Jason Jones is uh, explaining about Destiny and what you can do in this world. But after this video, we're going to be explaining the gameplay, what you can do, and what hints that are in the video. So, um, here guys, I'm going to show you it. Sit back and relax. We called it The Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Jones, and I want to show you what we've been working on here at Bungie since we first introduced Destiny back in 2013. Destiny is our next-gen first-person shooter, where you'll explore the abandoned ruins of an ancient human civilization long after it has been overtaken by our enemies. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. But there's still hope, a candle in the darkness, the last safe city on Earth. And at the center of the city is our home, the tower, the place we return after every adventure. To claim our rewards. To buy and sell weapons and gear and to meet up with our friends. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them, Guardian. Push back the darkness. In Destiny, you choose who you want to be and who you want to become. You go out into the world to earn powerful weapons, cool armor, and combat abilities that change the way you fight. The choices you make say a lot about the type of player you are in Destiny. There are so many ways to upgrade your class, and perfect your style of play. As you defeat your enemies, you'll discover new places to go and uncover more reasons to head out on new adventures. So we created The Director. It answers the question, what's awesome to do right now? And what's my reward for doing it? And that's important because in Destiny, there's a ton of cool stuff to do. Like a great story campaign where you'll explore the mysteries of our lost worlds. Well fought. Many guardians fell. Strong ones. But you made it here. 
Don't let them find you. And from the beginning, we built Destiny to be played cooperatively, either match-made or with your friends. On your adventures through the world, you'll stumble on public events, where you can join up with other players on the fly to take on huge targets of opportunity. before returning to your journey right where you left off. When you're ready for a little downtime, you can go off the beaten path and explore. And when you want to team up with two other players and fight through waves of enemies to take down an epic boss, you head into a strike. There's so much amazing stuff to find in Destiny. So many ways to combine your class, your abilities, your armor and weapons to build the guardian you want to become. And you can even take that guardian into the Crucible, our intense competitive multiplayer. You build your character grow more powerful as you take on greater challenges, and maybe one day become powerful enough to find a way inside the vault of glass to defeat the most challenging experience we've ever created and earn Destiny's ultimate rewards. So that's what we've been doing here at Bungie. We're having a great time playing this game, and we can't wait for you to experience it too. Should the Awoken ever need an ally, I will call on you, and expect you to answer. She's saying you owe us, Guardian. So what you guys just saw there was, of course, a gameplay of Destiny and Jason Jennings explaining a little bit about the game. Well, I for sure can say that this game looks freaking awesome. Like, unbelief. Anyway, some of the things I saw in the gameplay there was really cool. The armor that you can get, you know, you guys you guys are always um, talking about MMOs over line I've seen on Twitter, and everybody thinks that this game's MMO, but I don't think that's what Bungie's trying to aim toward. But anyway, let me get back to the armor part. Anyway, about the armor... You know, you can go around and scavenge things, I guess. You can probably find cool places to, you know, hunt. You know, go out in the world and kill somebody, kill, like, this boss and get some cool, you know, cool weapons, cool armor, whatever. The main thing about this game, I think, is it's about you. It's more about you, how you feel, and how you express yourself. And that's what I really like about what Bungie's doing with this game, because that, that just makes the game ten times better. See, a, a lot of, you know, games today, like RPGs, you know, newer ones, I'm saying, besides Skyrim, some don't let you customize your own character, and I think that Bungie realizes that they want the community to be, you know, themselves. They want them to customize their character. They want them to do what they want to do and experience at their own story which is good it's good i like that anyway we're gonna get down to the multiplayer now the multiplayer looks really cool you know you can team up with your friends online i don't see i'm trying to figure this out because every time i see bungie's gameplay i always see three people in a squad see the thing is is like do you, do you have more people, like, can more people play with you? Or is that just what Bungie's showing because they don't feel like putting more people in? Who knows? But maybe that's just a secret for now. 
anyway, the public events look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like I like that because you know it brings in a whole swarm of people, and you know you just battle this big you know boss. You know I remember last year E3 2013 they showed a public event, and they had uh, a bunch of people swoop in, and they killed this big spider thing. I I can't remember what it's called, but that's pretty cool. Public events and random people just coming in and just killing, you know, a big freaking boss is pretty cool. Anyway, I I'm I like the vehicles. The the vehicle, the, well, which is the bike, it looks really really cool. I'm liking it because, you know, you can randomly, I guess, spawn this vehicle anywhere you want and uh, just ride it to you know, far distances. Anyway, also what I like is that bunch you showed in this gameplay thing is uh, you can travel to different planets, which is really, really awesome. I, I was expecting to travel from, you know, different planets because, you know, you see, like, um, the gameplay trailer last year which showed you on the moon, and, you know, you, I can't, I can't really remember much of it, but... You know, you battle this other force that's on the moon, and you finally kill the boss that's in there. Anyway, uh, I think that the whole, you know, branching out to different planets is really cool because you get to, you know, expand your your gameplay. You get to, you know, get that feel of what Destiny really is, and I think that's cool that Bungie just doesn't hold you into one world. You get to go out and expand your place in the universe. And that that's awesome. So about the campaign, the campaign looks freaking amazing. Wow, I just the you know the characters' motions, their facial expressions, you know, down to the little things into the game. The graphics look so good. I can not seriously wait for this game coming out nine nine fourteen. Looks amazing. I'm not sure if the beta is on the Xbox One. I think it's for PS4. So I'm not a PS4 fan, but you know, you guys are lucky for getting that beta. But may I don't know. Maybe the beta will come to uh, Xbox. Who knows? But anyway, guys, this is all I have for you today. Austin Miles with the Game Box. Peace and out. Please like this video. Thumbs it down. I don't care what you do. Just give me some freaking feedback and haven't been getting a lot of views lately but you know short short shortened views is uh, enough i guess to start so thank you guys please like this video peace out Hey guys, if you want to watch more of the game box, please watch me this Friday. I will be talking about the new Halo game coming out called Halo the Master Chief Collection. So stay tuned and see you guys Friday.